Hey everyone, Codeth here, and we're in the PTR for Diablo 4 Season 5, showing you the new endgame activity, the Infernal Hordes. So to access the new area, you get these little sigils here, kind of like the Nightmare Sigils, but they're called um, compasses. So what you do is, you would right-click it, like you would a normal sigil, and you get access to it. Uh, these drop from uh, Helltide chests. They're guaranteed after completing Nightmare Dungeons, and they also drop inside the Infernal Hordes themselves. And you can also get these scrolls here too, which upgrade these tiers. So these are currently tier 3. If you salvaged um, tier 1 to tier 3, you'd get a scroll. Then you use a scroll on one of these and you can upgrade it, like so. But yeah, let's um let's go into one of these and see what it's like, just to show you guys. So it's located right over here, northeast of Gaia Cool, really close to the Imperial Library. So we're going to go in You can teleport in just like the Nightmare Dungeons. And so this is like a wave-based survivors like. Have you ever played like vampire survivors? It's kind of like wave-based like that. And you get like a selection of like rewards at the end, but here we go. Let's just start it out and see. Okay, so these guys do a decent amount of damage here. Alright, so begin wave one. Here we go. So you have limited revives here too. Uh, you see, you notice on the top right, wave one of six. So there's six waves on this tier. And that material right there, that's the aether. Use that to claim rewards at the end, which you'll see at the end. Once we finish the waves and fight the bosses at the end. So we're currently trying to fill up this meter right here to draw out the aether. Then we have to destroy a mass. Let's go over here. So there's going to be like these random objectives pinging up on the mini-map here, so we're going to go over to this side now, destroy the mass. And yeah, so the really cool thing, the bosses for this, they are actually the High Council from, if you remember like Diablo 2 in Act 3, they're those guys. There's three of them. Uh, there's a, a pool of like five of them that they can be, so shadow, cold, fire, lightning, poison, all be based on that, um, but you have like a random three that'll get picked, but you'll see that later on. So we also see we have these um, aethers that show up on the minimap, that's still a like currency, so we want to grab those, and then after we completed a wave, you get these three options here, so right here. You get one negative effect and then one positive effect, so Hellfire rains upon you. Plus, at the end of each wave, spawn 1 to 3 Aether. This one, normal monster damage is increased by 25%. Uh, gathering Aether increases movement speed. And then this one right here, Elite Damage, 25%. Aether Fiends grant one Aether. So I think I'm going to go with the more Aether here. We'll just have to dodge the Hellfire. Seems fine. So now we're on to wave 2. Yeah, so also, the new unique items, or um, at least a good amount of the new unique items, they actually drop in here, so that's kind of why I'm trying to farm this right now. I want to see if I can get some of those unique items to try out some more builds. Okay, I'm trying to draw out that Aether. Alright, I've got one up here. Go up north. Okay, yeah, there's an Aether Fiend. Yeah. So this seems... You can start this in World Tier 3. You would do like the lower tier ones, obviously, but... I feel like this might be a decent option for leveling in the new season. Because look how much density there is. There's a lot of density here, which is really nice. So if you want to like take a break from Nightmare Dungeons or Helltide leveling... You can come in here to the Infernal Hordes and, yeah, try to get some cool stuff in here. Maybe you'll get, like, one of the unique items. Alright, going for an Aether Fiend. See, Wave 2 out of 6 is about to end here. A 
I really wish I had something to pull all these monsters in right now. Because I know that would help a lot. <laughs> Instead of having to go and chase these guys down. Okay, there we go. Wave 2 complete. So, let's see. Uh, normal monster damage plus 25%. Killing them spawns Aether events. 50% faster. Masses deal unavoidable damage. Wave starts spawn an Aether Mass. Aether Mass damage increase, and then Aether Mass grants one Aether. Uh, let's do that. Let's get the extra Aether. That as well. We're trying to stack some Aether here. I would like to see some more options with those like upgrades and negative effects in the future, but it's a cool like place to start with what we have so far. Alright, destroy the mass, we're gonna come down here. Cool. And just just dropped an aether for us. Another ping up here to the right. Let's go check it out. Okay, we just had an Aether Fiend. Here's one of the masses. That should drop an Aether, I believe. Yep, just got some Aether from that. And see, now we also have that Hellfire, too, raining down from the sky, so similar to the Helltides. Just something extra to dodge. But that's what we got when we chose that other... that effect from Wave 1. Okay, so Wave 3 is done. Let's see, let's go open things up. So our options are um, Aetheric Mass Damage Increased, Grants plus one Aether, Oh, pulls four foes inward, Empowers nearby foes, Hellborn or Hunting, you plus one Aether. I kind of want, want to do this one. Soul Spires. This will help us like kill some more monsters when the Soul Spires actually like pull them in for us. We'll just have to have them pop up though. Desecrator right here. There we go, Soul Spire. So now it's going to pull these guys in, as you can see. Makes it a little bit easier to kill stuff. So we're not like hunting these guys down. Okay, and let's go over here, get the Aetheric Mass, that's dead. Let's get this one over here. Okay, that guy's get dead. Let's pick up the Aether. Another one right there. So we're up to 23 right now. We can only we can almost open up one of the um, equipment chests. Okay, here's that soul spire. Let's chill around here. Get some more of these guys to get pulled in. Yeah, but as you can see, there's a lot of monster density in here. Uh, no items are dropping, so you don't have to worry about like picking up equipment and stuff. There are some materials, but you'll pet, your pet will pick those up. Okay, so elite damage increased. Aether Fiends grant plus one Aether. Uh, normal monster damage increased. Gathering Aether increases movement speed. No, I don't want that one for sure. Hellfire spawns Hellborn. Hellborn plus one Aether. Hmm. Let's do the Aether Fiends. Let's do this one. Yeah, because we seem to be getting a decent amount of those. Okay, 
Okay, we're on wave five of six right now. So after this wave, there's gonna be one more and then the boss fight. You guys will see how the um, the council is. Okay, we're gonna go over here. The maniacal laughter in the background. <laughs> uh, let's go up north. Which one is this? Nice. We got an elite guy here. Got some aether from him. Okay, go down south. We've got a soul spire. So yeah, as you can see, there's um four different like corners that the events take place. You generally want to go over to those. Okay, I got the mass here. Another ping, Soul Spire. Oh, kind of stunned right here. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, cool. So three more here. Let's see. Masses deal unavoidable damage. Wave start. Spawn an Aetheric Mass. Soul Spire requires two times the kills, but they also grant 2x the Aether. Aether Lords now spawn three Aether. Oh, uh, let's... I think we can do that one. Yeah. Let's get the extra Aether. So, last wave here. Last wave. Alright, so here's an Aether Lord right here. Or Aether Lord. Another one. Okay, so you're at 57, 59 Aether now. So we'll be, able to, we'll be able to get like a few rewards after this. Okay, let's go down here. Hopefully a spire, a mess. Okay. So it doesn't look like we'll be able to get another Aether there. Alright, so wave 6 complete. Now we proceed through this gate here. It's a separate boss room. So now we can approach the Fell Council. So you've got like a health shrine here in case you need it. But let's go and fight these guys. So we're going to start with this one on the left here. Looks like this guy is... Is he cold enchanted? They get stronger as they get lower um, lower health, by the way, so you want to try to focus one at a time, if possible. Okay, that guy's going to die. Cool, we got one left. Oh, this guy's Shadow. And there you have it. So here are our rewards. Starting from the left, you can do equipment, cost 25. You can do, oh, wait for that thing to go away. Right here, uh, greater equipment, that's cost 250, so we can't get that quite yet. That's gonna be a guaranteed greater affix. Uh, materials, also 25, and then you can dump the rest here into gold if you wanted to. So we're gonna go for uh, equipment here, since I'm trying to get those unique items. Okay, no luck that time, so we'll just dump the rest into gold. And there you have it. So you've got some um, some 
your stash chest here you can dump stuff into as well if you need to access that but yeah pretty cool end game activity i've been enjoying it so far uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments don't forget to like subscribe i'll see you all next time take care peace